The following presentation is brought to you through the paid memberships of NotaryStars.com, the only notary training platform and resource library with over 150 hours of training on every loan product under the sun. Together with our sister website, OnlineNotariesPublic.com, which focuses on notaries who are pioneering in remote online notary, we strive to give you a safe place to ask questions, get answers, gain confidence in your notary career, and achieve success without overfabricating the truths about our industry. If you would like to support us, please consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel, sharing this video with a colleague, or becoming a member and trusting us to help you achieve the level of success you desire. Well, hey, notaries and signing agents from across the glorious USA. Hello, friends, and buongiorno, paisanos. We're thrilled to see you and thank you for spending your evening with us. Today is Monday, July 8th, 2024, and this is MGM, also known as Monday General Mentorship, brought to you by Notary Stars every Monday except for holidays, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you're new here or just not quite sure who we are, Notary Stars is your one-stop training platform for everything under the notary sun. From rock-solid basics to mastering 32 loan file types for NSAs, we've got you covered. We even conquered the mysteries of remote online notarization, and we have the very best notary business marketing course that focuses on teaching you how to market your business so you can shine like the star you are. But wait, there's even more. For everything else we don't personally train on, we try to bring in the best and the brightest trainers for the topics you're interested in. Curious about how our training looks and feels? Guess what? We're hosting an open house training on Saturday, July 13th at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Dive into a Veterans Assumption Loan Package with us. All you need to do is register to attend at the link that should be posted in the chat here. There it is. <laughs> Use that to register and to attend. You just have to have a uh, Zoom account, even a free one that's under the same email address that you registered with. OK, that's just part of our little security. We're double checking um, your email address, address on Zoom versus our registration. Your MGM crew is here tonight. My name is Beth Hathood, and I'm joined by Mr. Ronnie Mickle and our newest member, Kirsten Bly. We're all here. Oh, guess who else is here? He was missing last week. I almost forgot him. Mr. Bill Bumfries is here, our Ron instructor. So we're all here to help you excel in your notary journey. Tonight's session is all about you. So please... Uh, Turn on those cameras, make it a little bit easier for us to interact with you. Um, we know that you're here, you're dedicated to signing agent excellence. After all, you want to hone your craft, you want to become the industry whiz, and you want to be the go-to notary everybody dreams of. So let's make it epic. Get those cameras on. We want to see those smiling faces. And if you've got questions or tips you want to share, don't be shy, ask away. Just raise your hand using that virtual hand, raise hand feature at the bottom of your screen, or you can post your comments in the chat. One final thing before we get started though, keep your eye on that chat throughout the night or in the description if you're watching the replay um, for links to other important information as the evening progresses. Um, I think we're about ready, Mr. Mickle. Would you like to kick us off? I would. Um, I want to ask everybody, first of all, if you uh, have a notary friend, um, I'm posting this in the chat right now. I know the team doesn't know I'm doing this, but uh, the Zoom link, you can copy and paste that and text it to a friend, email it to a friend and ask them to join the session. We are just getting started. And so you can remind another notary, hey, we're going to have great information tonight. Uh, sometimes people forget. If you can, add this to your calendar regularly as an optional event and then come in and join us. Um, we have a lot of great information every week. Um, with that said, I have one other thing to say, two other things to say. Please turn on those cameras because it makes it much more pleasant to do this. 
when we can see your faces when you're nodding yes or no or like i don't understand that or mm, maybe not uh, we can we can kind of see that and it helps guide us you know to give you the best answers and sometimes we'll pen you up and say hey it looks like you don't agree or those sorts of things or if you don't know the commands you can be like hey i need to see something so it, it helps a lot and the last thing i want to say before we get started for tonight because i know we have a lot of great questions well two last things first please make sure to go ahead and raise your hand if you brought questions for tonight not everybody uses the job form that we have please go ahead and get yourself into queue because we don't want you to at the end be cut off because you were waiting for the right time the right time is now um closed mouths don't get fed so get your answers up front tonight. Um, and then the last thing is we got nominated as influencers of the year. Although my name is on it, they had to choose one person from this company in order to uh, make that happen. But I do not accept that as just Ronnie Mickle. You you have to vote for Ronnie Mickle. Kirsten's going to post in the chat where you can go and vote for us. Um, but I promise you that if you vote for us, uh, we've never brought something to you. We don't bring things to you to sell. We bring you training. We bring you education. We do a lot of things for free. Um, with that, if we get the opportunity to speak, Notary to Pro will come out of our mouth. So for all of you people that were Notary to Pro graduates, we will not let Miss Carol's legacy die. Uh, we will take that into the next generation as well. Uh, we promise you that all of the presenters and all of you will be acknowledged in all of this. Um, I think it's actually kind of sad that we're doing influencer type stuff, but we've got to get the truth out there about the dedication to signing agent excellence. And I know all of you, when you show up here on these Monday calls, you're dedicated to doing something better with your business. This is not about how much money we make. It's about how good we do, because if we don't do good, we don't make money. And that's where Notary Stars has its roots dug in really deep into the ground is about doing good in this industry and doing good with our business and doing better with ourselves as notary business owners. So please help us get to that finish line. Uh, I think they'll stop the voting on September 13th, but I promise you it will not be in vain. I will make sure that those that have made notary stars will get mentioned. My team will get mentioned. Everyone will get mentioned. Unfortunately, only one person really can be nominated, but I will tell you, it's not a selfish thing. So please, please, please vote for us. And if you voted before, I'm just gonna say it. If you got another email address and you wanna vote for two people, go ahead and do it. Because everybody out there is saying vote multiple times for them. Vote once for us, but use one of your email addresses for us if you so choose to feel so, uh, feel the need to. All right, uh, with that said, I wanna see some hands going up as we go start going through the job form, I know I see some regular faces with questions that call the hotline regularly. Um, so I'd love to see you guys ask questions publicly because you ask great questions. But Beth, let's go ahead and start with the job form. It looks like the very first question collected on job form over this past week happens to be for you, Mr. Ronnie. This is from Karen H. It says Unlimited Inc., which, by the way, guys, if you don't know this, uh, Ronnie's sister, other company, our sister company, Notary Star Sister Company, is Unlimited Inc. Notary, and that is a signing service. So you get a double whammy here, guys, okay? It says Unlimited Inc. constantly sends me requests for signing orders in my area. I live in a hot zip code. When I respond, I get the message that I must be trained with Notary Stars or Notary to pro, am I missing something? Blue check certificate, etc. So let me let me tell you, I I need to say this because I've made it transparent from day one, and I don't want anybody to think that I'm shafting them. Unlimited Ink Notary is completely separate from Notary Stars. We train you how to work with any signing service, any title company, um, anybody that you're working with at Notary Stars. So I always consider Notary Stars the sandbox. And unlimited, unlimited ink notary, the battlefield. I own a signing service. It's not a Ponzi scheme. You don't pay for training and automatically get orders at unlimited ink notary. But I will pull from that list. And we send back what we require when you respond to an order. Some people say, oh, well, you know, I always respond and I never get them. And I have to point this out as well. There's been notaries before you that were here a long time doing a great job in your areas if you're in a hot zip code. 
And we try to work with everyone and limit orders and give as many people as possible. There are also 28 going on 30 something signing services that now use Notary Stars as well. Um, that pull that you just may not be getting those emails back. We hear notaries complain sometimes saying, oh, when I say yes, we get nothing back. So Unlimited Ink decided to put in a response email to say, hey, we got your response. This is what we're looking for. This is how we're going to narrow it down. Um, with that said, if you're in an area and you get the response email, your job from any company, not just Unlimited Ink, is to say, what is that company looking for? What are, what are they requiring from me? And if you have those requirements and you're not getting selected, then you can pick up the phone and have a conversation. If you don't have those credentials that they're looking for or on their website, you're not going to get very far in a conversation. So if you have them, then at that point, but if you're, I, I don't know from this particular question, if they have those credentials, I'm not looking, you know, in our back end right now, but if you get the response and you don't meet the requirements or you go to the vendors page and you don't meet the requirements, your job is to meet the requirements. And once you do, if you're responding and you're not getting them, then you can pick up the phone and say, hey, I meet your requirements, but I'm still being overlooked. Why? So I hope I summed that up pretty uh, carefully. And that's not just coming from Unlimited Inc. That's coming from anybody who owns a signing service, I'm sure. That was Pretty succinct. Thank you. We do have a hand up already, though. Miss Carol, do you want to go ahead and unmute and ask your question? You got to unmute there, Miss Carol. There we go. All right. Hi. I was just wondering, I got an email today from a place called AIRA. And it's about police report filings. Have you ever heard of such a thing? It's for Home Depot. You take and apparently like it must be when uh, they get uh, shoplifted and the police are there. Somehow you got a file what they want, you have to do an affidavit and they want to know the police station name, phone number, police officer's name, police officer's badge number, and case number. So, Carol, can I ask you a, a question here real quick? Sure. Is this sure. a job that you're getting to go collect this information or yeah, is this it, something you need to fill out because it says we found your information on on the notary website and invite you to join our network of inspectors. Okay. And then it says we are thrilled to offer a unique and exclusive opportunity to individuals like you whose potential experience in filing police reports or related fields is crucial to our operations. This part-time role, which involves filing police reports for Home Depot, could be a perfect fit for you. Miss Beth, I've actually heard of this. Um, yeah, now, now, and it says, excuse me, one sec. It says the work is for a flat fee of $100. Okay, so I have actually heard of this. Now, yeah. I haven't heard of it very often, but I do know that I've, I've heard of uh, notaries going in for certain places and doing certain things. Here's what I want to say to you. You own a notary business. And I happen to know Miss Carol lives in a more rural area of Arizona. So I don't think that you're going to experience a lot of these. And when somebody sends me an email and says exclusive <laughs> and lucrative, and all of those things, they're trying to get you to sign up so that they have someone in that area when you're when when they need it. Um I've heard of it. Do I know much about it? No, but do I think that you should explore it? I would say go into it like this. You can always give them one order 
to explore it, find out what they're asking of you, as long as you're not breaking any laws with your notarial, you know, stamp and right. duties as a notary. It, they did use the word inspector in there. So it's yes. more of an inspector and filing job. And I've done everything from pick up documents for medical records to, you know, run things to the secretary of state to, you know, all kinds of stuff that didn't involve my notary stamp at all. They may just be pulling from a list so they can get you to sign up with them. I would say explore it, but just don't break the law. Don't do anything that would put you in a compromised yeah. position. Yeah, I, I, I don't really think I'm interested, but I just never saw anything. It also says, also ask the officer that this report be added to the NCIC database. Yeah, so what I was going to say is my, my grandson actually is head of security for Walmart uh, in a regional district in Arkansas and somewhere down in through there. And they actually have to compile loss reports for shoplifting due to theft or shoplifting. And those loss reports, until they can uh, apply or put it against their insurance coverages, right? It has to be filed under a police report. So it's a legitimate request. Companies do do that. Um, it's not like, you know, there's there's a theft or a burglary. They call the police. The police come out and they, they talk to whoever witnessed it. That's not this. That is uh, once a quarter report for losses due to theft or whatever. So that it's a legitimate request in what they're asking you to do. Um, I just don't know if that's the right company to do it through. So there's my two cents. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Ms. Beth, are we ready for the first question from job form? We are. This one actually is for Bill. Mr. Ron USA, <laughs> or Ron Nation, here we go, says, I'm doing a refinance over Ron. I have four signers. Do I need to go through all of the documents with one signer? And then again, for each of the remaining three signers, that's going to take forever. Please say it ain't so. <laughs> so it, it kind of depends on uh, the, the platform that you're on, number one. Uh, some platforms will allow for uh, different, you, you could, they call it exchanging the pen or changing the pen. So the first person signs and then you click the next person's name and they're able to go and sign and then the next person's name. So you actually can <clears throat> go through the, the form with one person, uh, with, uh, with all of the people just page at a time, if it's a platform that allows that. Some platforms are still one where, Signer A has to come through, do all of their stuff. Then signer B comes through and does all their stuff. That's a lot less common now. At most, most of the platforms now have the ability to kind of uh, toggle back and forth between signers. So, I mean, it's it, I'm not aware of any any more that you would need to do that. Maybe one, but I won't mention the name because I don't know for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you, you shouldn't have to do it one at a time. You should be able to mix and match. And it also depends. Sometimes platforms, you can share cameras. Like if Ronnie and Beth and I are all signing a document and Beth and I happen to be together, we can share a camera. There's other platforms where Beth has to be on a device. I have to be on a device. Ronnie has to be on a device, even if we're all in the same room. So um, that's, yeah. And then, Mr. Bill, there's always that whole scenario of the – Signer A can't meet until 9.30 and signer B can't meet until 12.30. And then right. treat that as a split <laughs> signing, um, which yeah. we should. At that point, uh, I want to make sure the notaries understand that. Um, if they're all meeting at the same time, it's the same fee. But if they meet at separate times, you're charging a whole nother fee, just like you would on a split signing. Yeah. Well, good to know. All righty. We have a hand up in the gallery, Mr. Rani. This is uh, Jabari. I hope I said that correctly. Um, do you want to unmute and ask your question? No, oh, you're not unmuted quite yet. Let's see. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. 
All right. Thank you so very much. And yes, Beth, you did say that correct. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, Notary Stars, I, I definitely um, am super happy to be here. You guys, uh, I've been following you for a few weeks now, and uh, I appreciate so much what you guys are bringing to the uh, table because it's not just education. I'm going to be honest. This is real life, pure wisdom with pure intentions. And that comes across. So I really appreciate that. Um, with that said, I do have a couple of questions. It's kind of two part. I'm here in Indiana and here uh, they only allow us to use certain authorized vendors to uh, do runs. Now, Blue Notary is one of them, which I am signed up with. But I'm wondering, like, because we're limited on the vendors that we use, um, does that uh, number one, does that affect my ability to get work as an NSA? And uh, number two, how would that affect me uh, getting work, I guess, with uh, online notaries public? I'll let you take the lead on that, Bill, and then I'll finish it up because he's asking about online notaries public there. Yeah. So so as far as the, the plat, we, we have the same thing in Nevada. We only have a list of providers that we can use. It's It's quite a big list. I mean, when I started this in... 2019, it was only a couple of people on there, a couple of platforms, so it was a little different, but it's expanded a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so you're going to pick the platforms. Is there a limit on how many platforms you can have? Do you know? I do not believe there's a limit on how many, but whichever ones we uh, sign up with, we definitely have to report them to the state. Uh, right. So okay. it does have the list on the uh, uh, Secretary of State website. I believe it's about 10 or 15 different uh, platforms, something like that. Yeah. So it, it like I know Arizona or the, at least at one point had a limit of they could only have four platforms that they were allowed to be on. I don't know if that's still the case. But um, in Nevada, we don't have a limit. We can be on as many as we want, um, as long as they're state approved. So you're going to want to pick the platforms you do based on the people that you're going to work with. So if you're going to work with, say, Amrock, they have their own platform. They're going to tell you you have to be on this platform. If you're going to work with certain companies like um I know certain title companies like First American, they have a specific list of you have to do it on notarized, uh, verify, stabby. Um, I can't okay. think of the others, but they have a certain list of them. If you're going to be your own independent, then you have to you want to pick a platform that you can do independent work on. So it shouldn't limit you, but it might require you to be on multiple platforms in order to do it. So if you're going to do, say, Amrock, that's one platform that you've got to add right there. And there's nothing else you can bring to that Nexus Clear Sign platform. You're only doing that signing. That's it. Um, uh, 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 Notary Cam pretty much does their own stuff, but they do have a licensing ability now. Um, you know, so if you if you have a specific thing in mind, you can always come to class on Friday, and I can kind of go over them with you, give you a little bit better idea. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. No, that, that was great because those two platforms that you named, I believe, are on the list already. So that helps. But I'm just wondering, like, you get what I'm saying here? Like, if I go to sign up with someone, will that affect my work? Because I'm not their Their platform isn't available to my state. That's my concern. It shouldn't. It, it Most of the big ones are going to be in all of the all of the states that have wrong approval. Um, it shouldn't impact you too much. And then just, just to chime in for online notaries public, so there are title companies all over the country that have Blue Notary approved, that have different ones approved. You want to have as many as you can. I know some of them have a cost, so you have to watch those things. Like this, Nexus Clear Science Free for Amrock and, and what other companies that they use. But like, let's say you have Blue Notary. There's tons of title companies out there using Blue Notary plus the general public. So online notaries public, the way that we've been doing it now is we've been marketing the website for people to come in and interview their own notaries. So it really boils down to what state you're in and what you're putting in your profile to make sure that people are actually wanting to reach out to you. Make sure you under, you list all the things you would at Notary Stars, all the file types that you're com comfortable with. Make sure you let the general public know. But we're really hyper-focused on title, escrow, and attorney right now on online notaries public. 
We're adding in other industries as well so that people can interview you and make you their own notary to go to. Because I'm going to tell you, one title company, even if they do 100 files a month, only need one raw notary. Because out of 100 paper signings, they're only going to be able to give 20% of that, if that, to one notary. So you're going to need a few clients. And we want them to interview, get to know you, and maybe have one or two, three notaries that they have to reach out to to do their RON. And of course, signing services also are going through that list and making their RON notary list out of that, that platform as well. Gotcha, gotcha. Ron, I guess what I'm uh, also was asking, because that, I understand that applies as RON, but as NSA, um, does that, because I the way I understand their law is that as a RON, I could only use certain vendors, but does that, it does not say that it applies as a signing agent. You get what I'm trying to say? Like I could use whatever platform uh, for a signing agent. That's a really great question. So it's really dictated by the title company or the lender that hires you. Um, the lender, generally, if it's a buyer, seller, refinance, they're going to determine what platform you can be on. They're going to let title know what platform they're going to allow for their documents. And since they come first down the chain, the lender sends it to title. They marry their documents. Title's always going to bend to the will of the lender. But if it's just a... Uh, cash purchase or a seller file doesn't have to go with lender documents titles in command of that and it's going to be what they want to uh, use and usually title companies are going to go ahead and approve what their lenders are using as well so get to know your title companies and what they want and what who's sending you the most orders even on uh, uh, signing orders zig sig snapbox when you're getting a lot of orders for people make sure that they know you're a ron Ask them what platforms did they need for raw notaries and can they give you business if you have that platform? Gotcha. And the reason I'm asking that because I do understand that certain documents in loan signings would need to be notarized and then that kind of creates that conflict as far as platform if, it, if it's not a proved platform. You get what I'm saying? Well, if it's a RON, you're only going to be able to do RON. And so mm -hmm. your, your platform... They're going to let you know before you proceed what platform you need to be on. And if you have a client that needs you a lot, you will switch platforms. You will be able to innately know when to jump from platform to platform. And I've been doing it for several years now. So is Bill going from one platform to the other. Okay, great. One final question, and I guess it's a two-part as well, but I'm just wondering, and I know this is your general mentorship, and I know you have a total different class for, um, for uh, marketing, but Again, my first time here, I'm not totally in yet, and I just want to have an idea of what I'm getting myself into so that I could be properly prepared. And I'm wondering um, what you think is, in general, because I know it's not a definite number, but in general, what do you think is a good starter marketing budget for a brand new notary? A good starting marketing budget? Yes. $500. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maximum, Perfect. because... Honestly, and I, I want to get this out, and I know that we have so many people with their hands raised and questions in, but you don't need to do Google Ads. You only need a really a Wix website. You probably need a few months in my class, and most of the things, Kirsten's in my class, she can tell you most of the things I teach you are free. Mm -hmm. uh, all these people selling you Google My Business, all this stuff, I do that in the class. Honestly, mm -hmm. a $39.95 uh, for for Google My, uh, not Google My Business, a Wix website, you do my class for three months, you haven't even hit $500 yet and you'll be on your way. If you're paid more than that to market your business, you're paying the wrong people. So okay. you're ready, come see me because you you really don't need that much of a, a budget. Right, I will definitely be, a, be to see you. I'm sorry to hold up everybody's time, but you're saying well, 500, okay. um, 500, that's per month? Per year. <laughs> per year yeah okay about, no that's great. about five to six hundred a year because i can teach you everything you need to know and then and I mean, that includes your website those platforms that we're talking about signing or getting listed to there's a cost to getting listed to those sites as well and obviously there's a cost of like online or the public like per year but like is it something to get signed listed on those other sites that we're suggesting Listing sites are, this is another great question. I'm so glad these are coming out because I never get to talk marketing. Um, 
We're we're about halfway through tonight, but I'm gonna we're gonna answer this one, okay, so everyone can hear it, and then we gotta answer some more questions. I'm, okay? I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I'm sorry. So here's what I want to tell you, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. When it comes to listing sites, the NNA now has a secondary one. There's all sorts of listing sites that are built on the same platform that Notary Stars is listing on. Notary Stars actually provides training. We provide SEO services. You have to ask yourself when you go to that listing site. What are they providing me? What are they providing other people? If you're not getting something for the bang for your buck out of it, you might want to consider not listing there. So if they're not providing you interaction like this or coming out of the woodwork to talk to you, uh, uh, talk, telling you I can sit down and show you the SEO on your website and we can work with you. And if they're not do, if they're just collecting money, keep going. So you've got to know before you go into those directories because directories are the new boom for trainers. OK, that's why every trainer, including the National Notary Association, is launching one right now. I just think we did it a little bit better because we actually have training on our directory. So here's what I want you to do, Jabari. When right. you get a <laughs> carrot dangled in front of you that says, hey, give me your forty nine dollars for a whole year and you can list your profile on our website and we'll promote you as a ROM notary. I want you to send an email back to him and say, thank you so much for the invitation. Can you tell me who is your customer? How do you SEO your website? What's the return on my investment? Are you tracking that for me? Mm. To show mm. me how many people come back and click on my name, on my profile, and mm. how are you marketing? Ask them those four questions. If they don't answer all of them, don't list with them. Powerful. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. We, uh, you have brilliant questions. Welcome to the community. Yes, absolutely. Looking forward to working with you guys. One more hands up, and then we got to go to a jot form question, Mr. Ronnie. Okay. Luz, do you want to unmute and ask your question? You're not yet. Let me try again. Okay, now I did. Okay, okay. perfect. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. So my question tonight is also regarding the the wrong um, part of the business. So I'm a, a wrong notary in Virginia, and I've been um, a citing agent for a year now. I just renew uh, my background and all of that. Um, but I wanted to also sign up with other platforms. I started using SignX, which I know, Ronnie, you discussed last week. Um, I started using them last year, and they're very difficult. It's a very difficult platform, but it was budget-friendly to start with. But now I'm ready to um, sign up for, um, I actually signed up for Proof and also Blue Notary. Uh, and I find Blue Notary to be the most user-friendly, I guess, for the notary and the user. But my problem is not with the, the state of Virginia commission. So they advised that I had to send um, the proof of the, of the e-signature and e-seal again when I was going to use a different like, platform. And I've been trying to get approved on Blue Notary with them. And I've been having all sorts of issues with the form. Uh, Blue Notary doesn't let you, um, or if you try to do a simulator with them, like a, a kind of like a um, a practice document, it doesn't have the the signature uh, certification. Like it doesn't have the identity trust um, verification that they're looking for. And I can't add the e seal to the signature. I'm so frustrated at this point trying to get this done. And I don't know if anybody else may, maybe is having similar issues or if you have any advice, like I can't add an image of the e-seal to the document. And this is specific to Blue Notary? It's, no, it's, it's specific to the state of Virginia. I mean, the program that you're trying to get, is it Blue Notary or is it uh, all of them? Um, Blue Notary and Proof, they're both, it's the same form that I have to send back to the state of Virginia. And I I'm, I'm, haven't been able to get it done. Is just, it keeps getting rejected. Now I finally got my Dent Trust certificate reinstalled and they verify that, but the e-seal 
like they have one box space for the document and it will not let me add the image um, and the signature is 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 so crazy that I, I'm ready like to just give up but I do want to start using blue notary because it's just so much easier than than Sinex. Bill do you have any thoughts on this? <laughs> I think with blue notary um so we have a similar thing in Nevada called an exemplar. Every time we join a new site, we have to send in this, this PDF document that mm -hmm. has our signature and our stamp. And it says notarized via audio video communications on blah. Mm -hmm. And so I, when I had to do it for blue notary, they actually had a little demo that like a, there was no person on the other end, but it was a uh, like a demo where you could go in there, you could stamp the document, and you could sign it and finish the session, and mm -hmm. uh, that's how you created the exemplar. I don't know if that's changed or if it was only set up for the state of Nevada. Um, yeah, this is one... actually PDF, actually like in, in Adobe, um, that mm. you have to do it. Um, and the, the form itself, it says that it has to be X509 compliance certificate uh, mm -hmm. that can be verified by a trusted route. And like, I have no problem now with the signature part is adding the e-seal to that file, at, like a blue notary e-seal, e and then going in and signing the PDF in Adobe. It's, it makes no sense. And there's nobody in the state of Virginia um, that can actually pick up the phone and talk to you. Um, so no. frustrating. <laughs> I, I will tell you, we do a lot of business at, uh, um, I'm posting something in the chat, by the way. It's for New York, but there's actually two of them. Patricia, one of the a, a example notary stars out of Florida, um, let us know that there are YouTube videos on this and that Blue Notary has addressed it. I put the one for New York. I don't know if that'll help you. There's also one for, I uh, believe, Nevada in there. Um, they did in 2022 and 2023. So they're not that old uh, going back on how to get that exemplar. If you send me an email, because we process a lot through Unlimited Inc., we have a lot of notaries on Blue Notary to do our orders. I bet I can get their ear to see if I can get them to give you some help. Um, so I'm going to task you with emailing. Now, the person who asked the question, not everybody watching the replay, not everybody else, uh, the uh, Luz who asked the question, I'm going to task you with sending me an email, contact at notarystars.com. Give me a really good description so I can forward it along to the powers that be over there. And let's see if we can get you the support that you need to be able to get it done from Blue Notary. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I can't promise that it will happen, but I, I promise that I know the right people to send it to. I'll take it. <laughs> thank you. Check the video in the chat as well. Okay. I will. All righty, so back to our jot form questions. One was sent in from Denise B. This says, I'm receiving signing orders, but one of them wants a scan back within an hour. I'm 45 minutes away. What are the setups to make this possible? And guess who I'm going to throw this to? Kirsten, please help us out. Help this notary out. Row, row. There you go. There we go. Um, so having portable scanners is really beneficial for being a mobile notary public. Uh, I personally use an ES-400 2, I guess that's um, my laptop, mobile hotspot, an inverter. That's all I use in mine. I get into my car after I'm done drive down the street a little bit, jump in the back seat, and I then um, scan everything, upload it to my computer, put it into um, Adobe and condense the file down to make it easier to upload. But having that scanner really helps. Uh, we do recommend a couple of scanners online um, on our website here. And I'm going to put in a couple, a link for a couple of blogs. But having a scanner is one of the most important things to have. So you can do those scan backs on the, like on the fly. I don't so, know if that helped. 
Let and a lot ask. of people leave their scanners in their car. Um, I know people in Arizona who do it and they don't have any issues with the heat. Um, I, I lug mine every time I have it in a bag and I carry it out to my car. And so question for you here, is this where you have to power the scanner and then have to have a cable to connect it to your desktop? Are you doing the connection to your debt to your laptop wirelessly? Or you're pulling power from your laptop to power the scanner? Two, two questions, two scenarios there. So I have an inverter that I plug into the car, into the okay. um, cigarette lighter. I plug my scanner into that. I don't have a Wi-Fi um, wireless um, scanner, so I do have to connect my scanner directly to my laptop. Okay. So, but just an uh, inverter has enough power for my um, my scanner. And there's a lot of people putting things in the chat. Yeah, and Liz is saying that you can use your cell as a hotspot. I have a separate hotspot for mine to make everything run smoother. Because I live in kind of a smaller rural area and the internet's not that great on my phone. <laughs> and, you know, I just want to throw my two cents in on this. Um, I literally take my scanner in with my laptop and I do it right from the signing table because I've never been in a house that didn't have Wi-Fi. Um, we all know that using a hotspot, those files may not move quickly across the room if you're doing it wirelessly. I always log into the Wi-Fi and and just ask their password and, and get it done really quickly. And then I also have a wire. I don't like pulling it out if I don't have to, but I'll wire up my scanner and just plug it in. It wraps around the the uh, the device and you know these Epsons. Uh, I think it's the ES five hundred that we recommend, or that's what I recommend. It's lightweight, carried in a bag, and I actually just set mine right on top of my rollaway briefcase, so it gives it kind of like a padding, so I don't even have to really lift it, because you guys know I'm an old man with a bad back, and uh, I just roll it right into the house, and if I have to do scans, I just scan them right back from the table. Yeah, and there's another point to that, too. You can do it very um, uncomplicated, like Kirsten does with her scanner and a simple inverter that plugs into your cigarette lighter. Those are kind of going away in cars now, in case you guys haven't noticed, but still. Um, and if you're going to set a printer up to print in your car, it's gonna take a, a larger inverter, a two to 3000 watt inverter in order to power a laser printer. That's a different setup, but again, that printer can be carried into your signing and plugged into the wall. Right. So you don't always have to have that power source in your car in order to um, be a problem solver at your signings. Right. OK. Miss Beth, yeah. before we go on, I, I just want to talk about scanners for one more second. I'm going to give away a scanner tonight. I'm going to give away my favorite scanner tonight, but this is how you're going to get it. We are just shy of 10,000 followers on Instagram. So please pick up your phone and go make sure you're following Instagram, uh, following us on Instagram. And tonight after this session ends, you got to get on Instagram and I'm going to do a giveaway on Instagram live tonight. Uh, so I'm going to put our Instagram handle into there and we are trying to get to 10,000 followers. So if you're not following us, you won't get notified when I go live. And you won't be able to win that scanner, but I'm giving away a scanner tonight. I will ship it right to your house, but I need you to follow us on Instagram. So let's let's keep going with the questions. I just want to get that uh, riled up for tonight because I'm giving away a scanner tonight. And if you right. know somebody that needs one, send a link to this meeting and have them come join us because they might need a scanner too. Okay. <laughs> We're going to actually <laughs> let that sit and percolate for a minute because guess what? We have a guest in the house tonight. Miss Delora Schneider is here. I can't find you, though, Delora. You'll have to put your hand up so we can. I got her. There you go. Bringing her up as a pin and making her a co-host. So co-host initiated and bringing her in as a pin. There we go. Hi, Miss Delora. Hi, Ronnie. How are you? Good. Hi there. Hi. Good to see you guys. It's been a little while. I hope everybody had a good fourth. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Good. Hot, too, too hot here, but nonetheless, it was not Yeah, bad. right. Well, I just wanted to pop in and say hi to everybody and let you all know that my name is Delora and I am here to help all of you with your health insurance needs, especially being self-employed people. Those are mainly the people that I work with and there is health insurance out there for you specifically made for self-employed people. So if you have any questions about any of your health insurance that you currently have or what's going to be available to you when you finally make the leap, um, just feel free to reach out to me anytime. Yes, Ms. Delore. And can you make sure to post your information in the chat for everyone and everybody um, that's posting, if you can just give Ms. Delora um, a little moment to post her information so everybody can see it. Health insurance is very important for business owners. So we want to make sure that she's clear for the chat to be able to post it in there. If you'll post that in there, um, I know you'll be able to, to help anybody that reaches out to you. Sure. I'm happy to do it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Keep coming back and reminding us. Everybody needs health insurance. Yeah, I thank will. you for being here. Okay. Bye-bye. All righty, guys. Miss Kimberly from Texas. Would you like to raise your tired, or I mean, drop your tired hand <laughs> and ask your question? Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so it's... um kind of goes in line with the scanners. So with Amazon Prime being next week, I'm just curious if there, I, I know that there is a section for all the recommended products that you guys, you suggest that we use, but I'm just curious if there's any um, like uh, hotspot um, equipment or tools that y'all know of ahead of time that are going to be offered for the Amazon Prime days next week. That would be a no, um, but thank you for letting me know because tonight when I do the Instagram live, I won't ship that scanner until Prime Day, so I have to save any money. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> no, I mean, Prime does let you know if products and services are going to be on there, I believe, but we haven't been uh, stalking them, so to speak. Uh, we've suggested the same printers and scanners and, and newer versions uh, for the longest of time because they're good quality products. Um so we don't know if they're going to be discounted or if you're going to save anything on getting them from Prime. I would say uh, you can mark items, I know, on Amazon. Uh, you can put them in the shopping cart. You can put them in there now. And then you can check on Prime Day to see if that price has come down. And it will let you know. And that's my secret there is I put things in my shopping cart all the time. And then I go back and then it says price drop. And I'm like, yeah, got it. And I learned that from working at Disney um, when I when I worked on the Disney lot. This guy next to me, he was like uh, obsessed with like movies and CDs and records. And he would put things in his shopping cart all day long. And then he'd be like, hey, I'm going to order that one because it would be like half price or 25% off or what have you. And it, I've, it stuck with me ever since. I never buy the first time I see something on Amazon. There we go. Um, but we've also got a number of blog articles, guys. Everybody's still asking questions about how to get this um, set up in your car, and um, if it print if it plugs directly, printer plugs directly into the inverter or the car battery. There's a number of ways to do it, and I'm just going to copy this little link here and paste it in there. Go to notarystars.com and look up these blog articles and. Um, you'll probably find the information that you're looking for, maybe even a video or two. Okay. All righty. Let's see. Hmm. Ms. Beth, um, there's one from Alfred in the job form that I really want to get to tonight. I think it's really pertinent that we get that one and, and don't, uh, don't miss it tonight. Uh, this one's definitely for you. It's definitely your wheelhouse. Uh, it says when there is a signer and a co-signer and you need a loose certificate, do you make two separate certificates? Also, when journaling, do you need to create two journal entries in the journal? And I think that's something that definitely we need to clarify. That's a really good question. That's really good. Two questions. So um, when you have a signer and a co-signer, they typically will be combined. If they're both signing the same document and there's one certificate, you can place both names in the byline for that certificate. So they can both be in a separate certificate. I do wanna tell you that sometimes in loan signings, 
uh, the lender or the title company will split them out onto their own certificates. So be careful um, that you're not inadvertently adding somebody to a certificate when theirs is on the following page or something similar. So yes, they can be in the same certificate. When we talk about journal entries, they're gonna have their own journal uh, section in your journal, right? So think about this. When you're setting up your journal, you're taking ID information for Kimberly and ID information for Jabari. They've both got their own section under that ID information and maybe that first signature, you're listing every document that you're notarizing for them. They're going to be separate entries. You always want to do those separate anyway. For me, I use one page per signer. That way I'm not having to block off somebody else's information so they don't see something. I've got Jabari's uh, entries on one page and Kimberly's entries on another page. When I go to my next client, it's a brand new fresh page. It burns the journal pretty quick, but that's okay too. That way, uh, if I need 14 lines, I've got enough, right? If I need three, then the rest of the page is left blank. Does that make sense? Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, Miss Beth. Right. I always, I always leave the hard questions to you. <laughs> well, Grace has had her hand up for a little bit. Let's go ahead and let Grace ask her question. If you want to unmute Grace and... Pop yes. in and tell us what's on your mind. Yes, I actually do not have really a question. I just had type of announcement for the uh, Dallas area folks. Um, have you all heard of, um, let me get it up here. Uh, darn it, I just had it up on my screen. The Notary uh, Academy. Yes, have, we have heard of them. Yes, so they are, they are going to have a Notary Summit in September in Grand Prairie, Texas. I know there's some Texas folks on here and I just wanted to make that announcement and uh, I signed up. I'm going to join because the summits usually happen in Orlando. And as much as I would love to come to Orlando this year, I was not able to, but they're having one in Texas. And I think that would. Do you have a link like that you can post into the chat? Yes. Yes, um, I wanted to ask before I did that. I didn't because I, I don't want you all to think I'm getting any commission for making this announcement because I am not. No, it's really okay. it's, it's actually just timely. Uh, I can actually prove this. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I I always like to say, you know, I like to prove things, so I'm I'm going to to actually prove this because yes, uh, okay. I got a message on Facebook recently, and this is how my my new thing in life is to. Um, and you guys know, I'm just going to prove this because I, I feel like you got to prove, you know, when you're, when you're saying things. So this is an email that I sent earlier. Um, and this is to Laura from the Nordic Academy. It says, I'd love to set up a meeting with myself, Beth, to learn more and see what we can accomplish together in the future. Oh, nice. We are okay. actually, um, and I, you know, I don't have to prove myself, but I feel like if you're, <laughs> um, so it's just really, I reached out and, you know, said, Hey, we love what you're doing over at Notary Stars. We'd love to, you know, get together with you. So I'm glad that you are um, mm -hmm. reaching out to them because we're about to learn about them ourselves. So nice. Okay. Who knows? Dallas is only halfway across the country, and I, you, I can drive. Right. But maybe I'll maybe I'll drive over there and meet you guys. Come on down. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they're having a summit in September. I'll put the link in there, and I bought my ticket, and I thought it would be good since I'm kind of new at this and. I'm getting my marketing skills off the ground. And luckily my sister is married to a dude that works at Google. So he has been, <laughs> he's been helping me. And so, but yeah, between uh, godaddy.com, that's where I bought my domain domain name from. And Wix is where I'm actually creating my website now. Um, it's it's been, a, it's been a challenge, but luckily my sister's husband is doing it all for me. So whatever. So, <laughs> you know, they used to say marry a doctor. Now we say marry some marry somebody with Google in the family. <laughs> you know what? He, I'm telling you, I have whenever I have a question, I'm calling him, and my sister's like, "Why are you calling him?" I said, "Cause I don't want to talk to you. I need to talk to your husband." <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, well, I will post the link. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Oh, uh, you too. 
All righty. Linda Stern has been waiting patiently. Linda, do you want to unmute and ask your question? Yes. Hello. So um, I want to go back to your um, scanning question. Um, Y'all recommended, um, you know, about the question just er, that I'm sorry, my brain's not working too well. Um, you all were recommending, you know, to get a scanner, get a scanner, get a scanner, get this scanner, get that scanner, set it up this way, set it up that way. No one mentioned talking to the hiring party. Um, I live in a valley that's smack dab in the middle of three mountain ranges. So I frequently go up to all the mountains with it with one hour travel times. So I encounter this frequently. While I do have a mobile, um, a tabletop mobile scanner, it doesn't always work out there with the Wi-Fi. And um, and it takes me about 45 minutes to get back into an area where I can even do anything um, with Wi-Fi. So um, it's really important. If you have issues like this, is talk to your hiring party as soon as you know that there's going to be an issue, because usually it's okay as long as they know beforehand. Yes, Miss Linda, um, I can tell you we love notaries who let us know beforehand at Unlimited Inc. so that we can let Title know when they're really pressed for time on certain files. And you're probably one of them that one of them that let us know. And what we do is at, at Unlimited Inc., which I encourage all signing services to do. We actually make notes on the notary's account. So if you let us know, we'll actually make those notes on your account and say, you know, this notary lives in an area where uh, th there's limited Wi-Fi and needs, you know, an additional 30 to 40 minutes to put those scans in. We have tons of notes on notaries throughout the country. So um, having each signing service, they have their own internal notes. So you do have to let them know. So I'm so glad that you brought this up because it is something we have never covered here before and definitely needs to go out. I'm going to make sure Glory and us clip this and get this word out on our Instagram as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Talk to your hiring parties. That is so very important. You you are so um you are you are so wonderful for bringing spot on. Yeah, spot on. I, sure. I believe this is the first time we have a brand new information, you know, from the from the audience and uh, brand new. Uh, thank you so much for bringing that up. All righty. Um, what time is it? We are. Wow. We got two minutes. We can get Miss Eva in and then we can say good night to everybody. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Eva, go ahead and unmute, hon, and ask your question. And she's been a notary star for I don't know how long. I mean, she might have been one of the first ones that ever signed up, so we cannot leave her behind if she's the last. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Hello, Ronnie and Ms. Bell. Hi I have my question. What is the difference between a, is that a jackery and a generator? I seen another notary, kind of ran into him, and he had a generator, one of the small ones, com compact ones, and he used a solar light, a solar lighting for power. And I asked him, I said, "Why you don't have a a jackery, a jackery?" And he said, "What's the difference?" So I couldn't explain it to him because I didn't know. Well, a jackery is an inverter. An inverter takes the existing power and converts it or conditions it into a uh, level that you can use for electronic equipment, okay? A um, generator, I, I can't imagine what generator is being used in a vehicle. They're loud, they uh, require another power source all by themselves. So we may no, have not used the correct term as a generator. No, it was a generator, it's a small one. And he said he got it off a TV, off the TV. It was quiet. No noise or anything. Okay, I, I I've never seen one. I I don't. Okay. The my I don't know. Ronnie, a generator to me uses gasoline or another external power to power it. Um, mm -hmm. or you know, it takes something. Um, okay. Gosh, it usually propane or gasoline to run that. So I don't think he's talking generator in that sense. But unless Ronnie okay. knows of something. 
I have no clue. And I'm not even going to pretend to have a clue about See. what it is. Okay. I just didn't know the difference because I say it was quiet, small. I'm like, okay. But I thought, you know, I just stick with my direct, my uh, Jackery. So. So, and you know, they might use that term interchangeably as well, you know, with generator um, and inverter, um, one of those two things, something that is external power for you in order to do, to run that equipment, that's what you're looking for. So I don't know that they're using that term interchangeably, but it's possible. It's possible. All right, Miss Beth, I think it is time that we go to gallery view here. Yeah. And uh, just want to make sure everybody can see the gallery here. Yeah. Looks All right. Good. Everybody, I'm going to ask if you could take a moment and turn on your cameras. We have reached our time for tonight. And I'm going to say it the way I say it. And then Miss Beth is going to take us home. <clears throat> if you are not naked and you are not running around your house, stuffing your face with a sandwich, we don't care if you're tucking your kids in and you're in your pajamas. Please turn on those cameras and let's give our signature wave. Wave to yourself first. Secure your mask first. Wave to the people that are going to come behind you and going to learn from these videos on YouTube. Wave to the future notaries of America. And Miss Beth, how do we actually say it here at Notary Stars? We want to remind you to always be kind. Um, remember, we're all in the same storm, Nancy and Rod, and Bill, and VJ, we're all in the same storm, but we're not all in the same boat. Some of us have yachts like Lisa Duffy. Some of us have canoes like me. The rest of us might be dog paddling, okay? Just remember to reach back, grab the hand of another notary, and take them along with you on your journey. Show them the way. Thank you, guys. Have a good evening. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful night.